So today I would want to cover what we call group consolidation and the agenda will only be one, to show you how we consolidate statements of financial position. If you have a financial position, statement of financial position of the parent company, and then you have statement of financial position of the subsidiary, how do you condense them? How do you put them together to form what we call a group statement of financial position? That is a major agenda. Once we understand that concept here by the end of the session, ladies and gentlemen, I'll be so happy. I'll count myself uh, having achieved so many things uh, today. So many things today. So great. And I would want us to use this easy question here. This easy question here. I'm reading here. I'm reading here. Ladies and gentlemen, we are told on 1st April 2018, Pedantic acquired 60% of the equity shares share capital or Sophistic in a share exchange of two shares in Pedantic for three shares in Sophistic. The issue of shares has not yet been recorded by Pedantic. At the date of acquisition, shares in Pedantic had a market value of six each. Below are the summarized draft financial statements of both companies. I'm not interested in the statement of profit or loss. This I'm not interested. I am interested in today's class I'm interested in showing you guys how to get the statement of financial position as at 31st September 08. So they have given us here for the pedantic and for sophistic. My role today is to show you how to consolidate. And the consolidation is an easy thing. To consolidate, ladies and gentlemen, is the easiest branch of our accounting that we have or financial reporting that we have. It's all about adding, adding like terms, line by line, line by line, like terms of subsidiaries and parent company, very easy thing. So ladies and gentlemen, what do they want us to do here? What they want us to do here is something very simple. They want us in part B to prepare the consolidated statement of financial position for pedantic as at this date. The consolidated or group statement of financial position. Great. Let me go through the charts here. Yes, great. Ladies and gentlemen, Remember, as usual, any group question, you must always start with what we call the group who, you must always start with what we call the group structure. And this is how our group has been structured. We have uh, one company called the Pedantic, which has gone ahead in this case, ladies and gentlemen, to acquire some 60% shares of another company called who? Called Sophistic, another company called Sophistic. So ladies and gentlemen, listen and listen to me very well. What do you think of this 60%? Is 60% a small shareholding? 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 It's material. Actually, the moment, ladies and gentlemen, you own more than 50% of a company, that signifies what year control, major, it means you are controlling this. This is your child. So it means, ladies and gentlemen, that this being more than 50%, it means that there is what we call control. And the companies that you control are technically known as who? Companies that we control are technically known as who, ladies and gentlemen? Companies that we control are technically known as who in the group? Are they associates? Companies that we control, I'm asking you a question. What are they? They are subsidiaries. Thank you very much, Bahar. So it means that uh, if there is control, then the company that is being controlled will be called a subsidiary, whereas the controller here will be called a parent company, will be called a parent company, will be called a parent company. Now listen and listen to me very well. So ladies and gentlemen, we can see that the parent, the parent owns what here, 60% there must be someone else who owns the other percentage, the smaller percentage. This someone else who owns the smaller percentage who has got no this, we normally give them a special term. Is anybody who is able to remember that special term given to this party? We will not be having a say in the board, right? You can type there. It's NCI. It's non-controlling interest. Please write that in full. Non-controlling interest. It's NCI. Thank you so much. It's non-controlling. So the non-controlling interest here has got 40%, has got 40%. 
So the students who are with me in my last class had begun this question, but I have to begin it from the beginning because now I'm consolidating financial statements, which financial statements, statement of financial position, I have to start from the beginning. So no worries, at the end of the day, you'll be happy. So the parent company has 60%, non-controlling interest has got 40%. So first of all, up to here, are we together? Are we together up to here? Are we together up to here? Are we together up to here? Yes, thank you very much, Agi. Thank you very much. Now, the thing that you would want to tell us is uh, as regards the date of acquisition and the date of financial reporting. The date of acquisition and the date of financial reporting. Please write this in full, given for those that, especially that I'm teaching for the very first time, teaching them consolidation, you must write this in full. This is date of acquisition, date of acquisition. This is date of financial statement. So they told us something very interesting here that we acquired this subsidiary on which date? On which date? On which date? On which date? The date, ladies and gentlemen, we acquired this subsidiary. This subsidiary, it was first April 08. It was first April 08. This is first April 08. First April 08. How about the financial statements given? The financial statements given, which day are they dated? The date of the final, look at the statement of 30th September 08. 30th September 08. 30th September, 30th September. 30th September 08. So could you kindly count for me and tell me how many months did we stay with this subsidiary in the financial year? How many months did we stay with this subsidiary in the financial year? How many months? Somebody talk to me tonight. Jackie. Hey, Jackie, you're the first lady who has gotten this month correctly. Many ladies don't know how to count these dates. This must be very special. So we have April, May, June, July, August, and then the whole of September, six months. Thank you so much. That is the end of my group structure. That is the end of my group structure. If you get your group structure wrongly, then you will get a zero. Once you finish the group structure, now you should never be cheated by anybody. You start opening uh, some, some workings. No, once you finish, ladies and gentlemen, ladies and gentlemen, once you finish uh, this group structure concept, straight away go to what the examiner has asked you to do. What has this examiner? What has this examiner asked you to do? This examiner in Roman two of the question whose agenda we are on top of today has asked us, ladies and gentlemen, to do something very simple. Has asked us, ladies and gentlemen, to give them. You know, you start with the name of the company. The name of the parent company is Pedantic, so we call this one here Pedantic Group. So the group will always be called by the name of the parent. The parent here is called a pedantic. So you're talking of pedantic group. So pedantic group, pedantic group, uh -huh, consolidated, consolidated, consolidated statement, consolidated statement of financial position. Consolidated statement of fi financial position as earth, as earth, the date has been given there as 30th September 08. And then you underline nicely. You underline nicely. You underline nicely. You underline nicely. So remember how then we start displaying, structuring our statement of financial positions. It is assets vis-a-vis -vis how those assets have been financed. We start with assets and then we look at equity and what here? Liabilities. So we start with assets. We start with assets here. So we mention their assets. So assets, mention their assets. Remember you are taking everything the way it has been given in the question paper. Everything the way it has been given in the question paper, it is statement of financial position that we are consolidating. So we start with non-current assets. So non-current assets, what do we have? Non-current assets, non-current assets, non-current assets, non-current assets. We have, ladies and gentlemen, the first one there is property, 
plant and equipment, property, plant and equipment, and the non-current assets, ladies and gentlemen, and the non-current assets, even if I'm not told if I have subsidiaries, and the non-current assets, even if I, I'm not told, so long as I've got subsidiaries, of course, I must create some provision, provision for of goodwill, provision of goodwill for my subsidiaries. So not, I mean, even if you're not told, Anytime you have got subsidiaries, you must, as an uncurrent asset, you must come and give us your goodwill. Goodwill of who? Goodwill of subs. You don't write in full goodwill of subs like that. Great. So, ladies and gentlemen, the moment I do that, I'm just trying to copy the general structure. I can see the next thing they want me to capture here is called the current who? The current assets. So, current assets are common and alive. And the current assets, I'm looking at things like inventory. I'm looking at cash. I'm looking at those things, you know. I know you know them better than myself. But remember here, I'm reading everything at, as, as, it, as, as it has been structured by the examiner. So like this examiner, I, ah, he even simplified the work for me. He came and put all the current assets as lump sum. So I'll simply come and mention their current assets, just like that. Great. So I'll come and just write here for the sake of it. I will come and say, current who? Current assets, like that. Great. And then, of course, I'll leave some space. Some, you must keep on leaving space, remember. Some space here for total who? Total assets. So that's like one part of uh, the balance sheet, one part of uh, the statement of financial position. So from there, now we'll go to the financed buy. How do we finance this? It is equity, equity, and who? liabilities it is equity versus liabilities of which we begin with equities remember equities we have share capital you don't guess remember you are picking everything the way it has been given to us by the examiner so we have the share capital so we have the share capital here and the equity we have share capital there i can see retained earnings i can see retained earnings I can see retained earnings. I can see retained earnings, retained earnings, retained earnings. What else in this case here do you know when we are consolidating under equity? What else do you think must we add here when we are consolidating? What else? We must have, a, even if it's not given there, what else must we, just like we include goodwill here, we must include something here. NCI, thank you very much. So you must come and include this other permanent source of capital which is called an uncontrolling interest. Remember these guys, they have our shares, ordinary shares. We don't owe them. We shall never pay them. Whenever anyone wants, in this case here, to walk away from our company, they have to go to the stock exchange, secondary market, and get a person to buy their share. So the company will never. This is a permanent source of finance. It's a, an equity capital for us. It's an equity capital for us. So remember, you should leave some spaces in between, between because of things like a share premium, which may uh, crop in later on. Thank you very much. So after equity and liabilities, now you move on to the next thing here. The next thing, ladies and gentlemen, that these guys have, uh, we have here retained earnings. Retained earnings, already I have that. So now I shall be able to go to the non-current liabilities, non-current liabilities, non-current liabilities. So we have the non current, uh, non-current uh, liabilities. The only non-current liability that I can see there is called the 10% loan notes. The 10% loan notes. The 10% loan notes, 10% loan notes. From there, I'll be able to walk to current liabilities, current liabilities. So from there, we have the current liabilities, current liabilities. So current liabilities, fortunately, it's only one. Ah, great. Don't have to duplicate this. I can just leave it like that. Current liabilities. So first of all, I would want to know whether you guys have been able to copy this thing all the way up to where I am. Have you been able to do that? Have you been able to do that? Right? Today, I'm not seeing any man talking to me. I don't know why. I'm not seeing any man talking to me. 
It seems that these guys have gone on strike. Thank you very much, David. Thank you very much. At least now I feel happy. Now I feel happy. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Agi. Yes. Sasa nataka unisikize na unisikize makimakini sana. Kama kuna question unataka upate 100%. Kama kuna question unatakiwa upate 100% ni group consolidation. Ukienda kwa exam, upate group consolidation uwezi pata max more than a half, then know that you have a problem. But fortunately that problem does not require any medical intervention. Right? Group consult, watana hizo zingine zozo za kubatisha. Oh, kisha ambiwa, semester mzima, miezi tatu, you are aware that this group consolidation, whether you like it or not, group consolidation has to, over three months, you want to tell me you can't really uh, grasp this thing, you will grasp it. So here we have to get all the marks. It is the easiest. So like now the property plan and equipment, what should I do? I should take the PPE of the parent plus the PPE of uh, the subsidiary. Just that. Don't read notes first. Don't read any notes first. Wewe kuja tu hapa kawaida, unaangalia hapa. So we have property plan and equipment. So we have 4600 and 12600. We're only adding. So we have here 4600 plus 12600. Thank you so much. Great. So goodwill of subsidiary, this one I will need a working. Goodwill for subsidiary, that one I will need a working later on. I'll need a working later on. From there, please jump and go to the current assets and don't pick your calculator yet. Don't pick your calculator yet. So go to current assets. You are consolidating, putting figures of the parent plus uh, figures of what year, plus figures of uh, plus figures of who the subsidiary. The question I like this student uh, quite a lot. People are positive. Any amingia ko WhatsApp sa easy. Akapatana kuna class na kaingira na cheka. We, that's the attitude really. That is the attitude really. Great. So as a gentleman, we, here we are. So for current assets, what do I do? I'll take, take 16 plus 6,600. 16,000 plus 6,600. So 16,000 plus 6,600. Don't add anything. Don't take your calculator and then you start giving us figures because later on, I'll be doing adjustments. Later on, I'll be doing adjustments. Total assets was an IO. End up with share capital. What do you know about share capital? Hey, you great students of mine. What do you know about share capital as regards group consolidation? As regards group consolidation, what do you know about share capital? As regards group consolidation, what do you know about parent only? Great, parent only. So parent only group consolidation share capital is parent only. And the parent only, ladies and gentlemen, in this question, in parent Peke, I like that, Steve. And I hope, Steve, now you have recovered fully. You're a young man, you should be sick. You should become sick. So parent only, ladies and gentlemen, parent only, share capital. I, you know, there is a figure of 10,000 of the parent called pedantic. And then we have 4,000 calls for the share capital. We always pick the one of the parent only. The one of the parent only. So parent only, what do we have here? To make somebody 10,000 like that, like I able to. Retained earnings, the same case. Retained earnings, you pick the one of the parent only. So retained earnings, also the same. Although we shall be doing some adjustments later for, for retained earnings, but also for the retained earnings, we always pick the one of the parent only. So retained earnings, I can see 35, 400. I can see 35, 400. I can see 35, 400, 35, 400, 35, 400, non-controlling interest I would need, I would need a working. However, this non-controlling interest is a straightforward one. Even this one is a very straightforward one. Because what I need is a non-controlling interest as at the date of acquisition. The non-controlling interest as at the door, the date of acquisition. And NCI basically will be given at the very last year, NCI. This is the NCI figure. Apa. Utambiwa iya mwisho kabisa. E. Pedantic has a policy of accounting for any NCI at full fair value. The fair value of NCI interest in Sophistic at the date of acquisition was estimated to be 5,900. So what I'll do with this NCI, 
and controlling interest, I'll simply write the non-controlling interest value at the date of acquisition, and then I'll add the share of curb. I'll add the share of post-acquisition pro profit later. I'll add the share of post-acquisition profit later, later. And then we go to the non-current liabilities where I'll pick the 10% loan notes. So 10% loan notes, what do we have here for 10% loan notes? For 10% loan notes, I'm picking 3,000 plus 4,000. 3,000 plus 4,000. So loan notes here, we have 3,000 plus 4,000 like that. And then we have the current liabilities. We are consolidating, putting together things, putting together things like how we are together in this room as a family. We are already consolidated. And of course, are happy to be here. We are happy to be here. So for the current liabilities, it's 8,200 plus 4,700. 8,200 plus 4,700. So 8,200 plus 4,700. I'm so sure, ladies and gentlemen, there must be somebody here who has not understood anything. And really, we haven't even begun doing the question. We're just copying. So feedback, I would want to know whether we are together, ladies and gentlemen, up to here. Is there somebody who has been able to copy like myself there? Great, 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 great. Mary Achoki, thank you very much. 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 Now, so lezanya mi nikifika hapa sasa mi nitapata max zote. Hii nitapata max zote 100%. Kwanza naipigia hesabu yake nitaianzia wapi? Hesabu yake nitaianzia wapi? Twende kwa notes sasa. Twende kwa notes sasa. Twende kwa notes. Hapa sasa mi nimeshaichorea. Nimeshaichorea sasa. Twende kwa notes hapa. Kwa notes, note number one, we are picking only things that will affect our statement of financial position. Things that will only affect our balance sheet. We are told note number one, at the date of acquisition, the fair values of sophistic assets were equal to the occurring amounts with the exception of an item of plant, which had a fair value of 2,000 of 2000 in excess of its carrying amount. Yes, I'm speaking of thousand, not millions. Why? Because my figures up here are captured in terms of what? Yeah, thousands. So all my pronunciations will be in terms of thousands. I must be chopping the three zeros at the end there. So 2 million will be 2,000. 2 million will be 2,000. So you're told, I'm repeating again, that at the date of acquisition, the fair values of sophisticated assets were equal to their carrying amounts with the exception of an item of plant, which had a fair value of 2,000 in excess of its carrying amount. That's the revaluation. That's the revaluation. When I'm acquiring a subsidiary, I must call in a valuer who will be able to look at the figures that we have in our books, what we call the carrying out values, and compare the assets that we have, the fair values, the fair values of the assets we have with the carrying. So at times we'll be having an asset. This is Matuvia. I'll be depreciating it. So in my book, I have it at 10,000. But you see now this expert will come and tell you, and gentlemen, that, uh, hey, if you take this car to the market today, you'll be able to get 12,000. So it means that I must increase my books. I must, in this case, inflate my books to reflect the true value of the asset, the market value. So in this case, here I need to, like here, I can see a revaluation upward. It's a revaluation upward. So this is a revaluation. Like here, we can see that the fair value is higher. When the fair value is higher than the book value, it means that we need to boost our PPE. We are told here, let me repeat this very well. We are told, ladies and gentlemen, here, we are told, ladies and gentlemen, here, that at the date of acquisition, the fair value of sophisticated fair value is the same as market value. The fair value of sophisticated assets were equal to the occurring amount, with the exception of an item of plant, which had a fair value of 2,000 in excess. So it's a revaluation upward. And because this is a revaluation upward, we've said we shall boost our property, plant, and equipment. Boosting means you come and add. So come here, and then you say, what is somebody plus 2,000? This figure 
is being brought in at the balance sheet uh, now. It means that uh, it has not been depreciated. So once I have a revaluation, I must always compute what we call depreciation on revaluation. So come and give us depreciation on revaluation. Give us depreciation on revaluation. Please, working circle. Niko mwingine napenda copy mwalimu sana. Tupata sababu mwingine na copy kama mimi. Unajua mimi niko na board ambayo na rab rab na rab rab. Wewe sasa yako unaandiko kuchini. Right? So depreciation on revaluation allow me to check some comments here please. Feel free. Feel free to feel free in this case here to do what here. Yeah, to ask questions here, to ask questions here, to ask questions here. So depreciation on revaluation. So depreciation on revaluation, what do we have? We shall take the revaluation amount. We take the revaluation amount all over the remaining useful life. Revaluation amount all over the rule. The remaining useful life, please and take in full. I mean, I here. Revaluation amount all over the remaining useful life. Umeandika namna hiyo kweli? Umeandika namna hiyo kweli? Revaluation of a remaining useful life. The revaluation here is 2000 divided by the remaining useful life, which the examiner will always tell you. Like here, they told us it had a remaining life of five years at the date. So five years. So the rule, the remaining useful life is five years. So 2,000 divided by five. 2,000 divided by five, oh yeah, inakuja nga pay. 2,000 divided by five, inakuja nga pay. Wanasema ni 400, agidan kan 400. But this 400 is for which period? The 400 is for which period? How many months? How many years? This 400. It's for a whole year. For when you divide with the number of years, whatever you get, it will be depreciation per annum. But don't forget that this asset belongs to the subsidiary and the subsidiary we stayed with it for only six months. And the depreciation normally accrues with the time. Depreciation accrues with the time. So I must come and the time I push this to get the true depreciation figure that we should charge, which is 200. So what do you know about depreciation? You will come and do what here? You will come and subtract. Depreciation is loss in value. Is loss in value. Now, as I wait for you guys to catch up with me, because I'm, I know I'm a very fast man, as I wait for you to catch up with me, could you kindly tell me, this is a figure of the subsidiary. Why was I not taking this figure as yet times six over 12, like we did with the statement of profit and loss? Why was I not multiplying the balance sheet parameters of the subsidiary with six over 12? Why was I not apportioning them, those figures? Thank you very much, Okewa. Reporting here is at the last date. Balance sheet is at that date, is at this date. Balance sheet does not accrue for a whole year, the last date of the financial year. Whatever assets that we have there, all of them belong to the group. So we don't time a portion. Great, thank you so much. So ladies and gentlemen, there I am, there I am. Now I will go to, I will go to, with your permission, I will go to note number two. I'll go to note number two. Sales from sophistic to pedantic in the post accretion period were 8,000. This is what we call fake sales. There is no way you can claim that you sell, you, you selling goods to your family member, close family member. This is a fake sale, which we were able to subtract from our income statement metrics. Very nice. I'm, I'm not interested really with that, but I'm interested now with the statement that follows thereafter. We are told the Sophistic made a markup on cost of 40%. In a group consolidation, when I see the word markup, I should know that markup is an enemy of progress. Markup is an enemy of who? Of progress. Markup is an enemy of progress. Markup is an enemy of progress. Whenever I see markup, I can see some low hanging fruit. This examiner will be able to give me some mark there. Whenever I see markup, 
I must change this to Marjini. So Makapu is 40 over 100. So when Makap is 40 over 100, could you kindly give me the value of margin? So let me try to simplify this for you. Will the margin be 40 over 60 or 40 over 140? Which one has got a bigger denominator? Which one has got a bigger base? Which one has got a bigger base? Margin, yes. Margin has got a bigger base. Thank you very much. Margin has got a bigger base. So if it has got a bigger base, then what I'll do, first of all, I'll come and copy 40 over 100 there. And then I bring the numerator to increase its base. I bring the numerator here, I say, plus 40 here. Plus 40 there. Copy to 40 over 141 there. I remember Mwanadada Flani. Ali Ali Shangaza. Tukasema markup is 20 over 100. Nikamuliza sa Mwanadada. Margin, itakuwa ngapi. Akanembea ni 20 over 101. Ni kajiri ukuimagine metuwa 101 wapi. I 101. Ni kafikiria. Ah, ni kajungu wanafunzi maybe. Masuali ambalo kwa nafanya yote uko nyuma. Hapa juli kuwanga ni wa? Ni 1. Saya kafikiria hapa chini kuongeza 1 throughout. Ni kama ni formula. Ni kama ni formula. No. No, angalia faith amesha potea. Angalia faith amesha. Na faith umesema na mnagani saizi faith. Tumesema always margin has got a bigger base. There is no way you can subtract faith. Could you kindly revoke that answer faith? It will be 20 over 100, 20 over 100, but because margin has got a bigger base, margin has got a bigger base, that one gets a pale 20 over 100 and 20. Thank you very much. So up on the makia bure, abracadabra makia bure, this examiner gave me the markup. I've been able to change it to margin. I've been able to change it to margin. Thank you very much, iPhone person. Thank you very much. But now, up to there. Are we together? Up to there. Are we together? Those yeses are nice, but there are very few. Out of 76 participants, I expected to get yes, 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 yes. 70 of them. 70 of them. 70 of them. Thank you very much. Now, tuendele kusoma sasa uoye. Thank you so much. Tuendele kusoma sasa uoye. So, tukiendele kusoma, tunambiwa hapa sasa. So, Fistic now has a margin of 40 over 140. Pedantic had sold 5,200 uh, 5, of these goods by 30th September. Ladies and gentlemen, that's a very good language. This examiner wants me to come and calculate what we call unrealized profit on stock. This examiner wants me to calculate unrealized profit on stock. Is there anybody who can remind us the formula of getting unrealized profit on stock? Is there any examiner? I'm calling you people examiners. For sure that now is a, a profess that all of us will pass. So UPS equals to who? UPS. Thank you very much, Nimrod. Nimrod, I'm a I'm a sema. In a profit margin, in a profit margin, times, uh, in this case here, RIS, where RIS is the remaining intra sales. RIS is the remaining intra sales. Please write that in full. Write that in full. UPS is the unrealized profit on stock. And realize profit on stock. Annette, thank you very much. And realize profit on stock. And realize profit on stock is profit margin times remaining intra who? Intra sales. Times remaining intra sales. So you guys have told me that the profit margin is 40 over one. If you need, wish, you can cancel this, but is there a need really? It's 40 over 140 times remaining risk. We had sold the goods worth 8,000 between ourselves. And by the end of the year, we were able to push the market 5,200 worth of those goods. So the remaining interest sale, the remaining interest sale will be 8,000 minus 5,200. Whatever you guys get there, I don't want to know the figure. What I'm interested in is a UPS. What I'm interested in is a UPS. Is there anybody who is able to give me the UPS tonight? Is there anybody who is able to give me the UPS tonight? So Nimro tells me it is 800. UPS, you don't do. You'll get some students telling me, Mwalimu, times six over 12. 
hiyo depreciation hiyo depreciation hii hakuna ku time portion andika mahali namna hiyo kwa kiluya kwa kiluya andika kwa kiluya mahali the only luya word i know ni tawe sijui jini imetokea wapi na i don't know i don't know andika mahali hapo kwamba ups is never time apportioned is never time apportioned is never time apportioned don't ever apportion ups and the ones we have gotten this ups could you kindly tell me the accounting treatment could you kindly tell me the accounting treatment having gotten the ups could you kindly tell me the accounting treatment in the group statement of financial position how should i treat ups less it from inventory i like that less it from inventory i like that because basically what this means is that our inventory is that our inventory is overstated with that profit remember it is wrong of us to maintain stocks with a profit insight so less from inventory but now when i move around turn around like this i can't see inventory here i can't see inventory here so in an exam what should i do cry should i cry i can't see i can't see inventory thank you very much agi thank you very much jaki wanambia but mwalimu inventory is found in current assets so come and say minus what here minus 800 say minus 800 thank you so much minus 800 minus 800 inventory is under current thank you very much <laughs> cry then adjust adjust cry then adjust what i'll do i'll you know like this like this and then now i'll be sad a little bit a little bit and then i move there like that yes yes so i've been able to adjust this current asset thank you so much thank you so much thank you so much so are we together up to this sorry sorry for asking you that question for many times are we together are we together up to there great 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 i've never seen uh, some students here really talking to me i've never seen emily m talking to me diana beril i've never heard from you brian nadit i've never heard from you bahar i've heard from bahar i've heard from anet agi great ruto thank you very much at least uh, you are uh, we have this student called moi leo ajani ongelesha moi kila mwana kuzi lazima ongelesha babake mwalimu wake lazima lazima tunaangalia majina zenu hamisi ajani ongelesha ingosi robert ajani ongelesha ingosi robert my friend my friend ingosi robert au ajani ongelesha kwa nini aha john mweresa this must be a man from nyamira ujani ongelesha hata malusi lusi mimi siwaoni ya malusi lusi hata mary no mary is my mother's name mimi siwaoni kabisa he mjeo wengi wananiuliza ngapi baadaye mwalimu how do i pass this paper passing this paper in zoom is how aggressive you are how fast are you giving us answers right if you're not able to get things tell mwalimu you cannot continue i have to understand right thank you very much now we go to the next thing following thank you very much brian bit hii majina mko nayo ni mzuri kusema ukweli majina mko nayo hii nafaa kasi na biwapatie tu passes 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 now we go to the next question here three other than where indicated profit or loss items are deemed to accrue evenly on a time basis they're putting that there to simply become verbose to confuse the easily confusable students so meaning that roman 3 is a useless sentence i can do without it i can do without it nothing really for me there number 4 sophistic trade receivables at 30th september 08 include 600 due from pedantic as and gentlemen i always keep on giving you a very good example here please never forget within the family we have a husband we have wife so if, for example this morning my wife asked me for 100000 shillings akaniambia mwalimu nipatie 100 anaita mwalimu sababu alikuwa mwanafunzi wangu pia mwalimu nipatie 100000 shillings nikishampatia jameni do you think i'll ever recover that money from this uh, great lady will i ever recover this money from this great lady 
never you unasaha unasahau so any internal owings within the group they are fake internal owings within the group they are fake so i need to go ladies and gentlemen then to the receivables the receivables that i took to my group the receivables you see sophistic sophistic trade receivables include 600000 from the father haiwezekani so please go to the receivables and strike off that 600 so where do i find receivables here where do i find receivables here where do i find receivables here right current assets so kwa current assets and pale sema minus 600 tunaenda vizuri sana sema hapo minus 6 alafu endelea kusoma sentence alafu endelea kusoma sentence ukiendelea kusoma sentence what else are we told ukiendelea kusoma sentence as and gentlemen we are told here due from pedantic which did not agree with the pedantic's corresponding trade payable this was due to cash in transit mina penanga cash in transit the cit in group consolidation that one is the best free mark that is ever available cash in transit isha lipwa na one company so one company may release your pesa lakini haijafika kwa ile company lakini macho ya group macho ya group inaiona so ikisha iona yo macho ya group ikisha ona hiyo cit cash in transit nitakuja niweke wapi hapa kwa group sasa macho ya group macho ya group ni kubwa sana niweke wapi hiyo cash in transit cash in transit niweke wapi cash in transit yeah either we introduce up a cash cit uh, row ama ukuje useme hapa cash in transit kwa current asset useme plus ngapi useme plus 200 yes useme plus 200 200 kama ni mimi mimi mi, mi, wewe i'm trying to show demonstrate to the examiner broad and deep understanding of the subject nakuja naweka hivyo hapo uje na muandikia cit kumbuka hiyo maisha ni kustuana na stu examiner ama kasi ni baba nashtuka kasi ni bina nashtuka kweli <laughs> kasi ni baba <laughs> Haitingiziki eh <laughs> we shall overcome so this is cash in transit one company had released the money right haitishiki kabisa eh <laughs> this time round lazima itatingizika a <laughs> fast already you will pass trust you me plus 200 like that thank you so much now as a gentleman listen and listen to me very well to nele kusoma my statement to nele kusoma my statement to an lexom statement i do from pedantic which not agree with pedantic's corresponding trade payable this was due to cash in transit of 200 from pedantic to sophistic aya aya miskizeni is the company bill is gonna internal owings intra owings you gonna sophistic sophistic receivable 600 tuko na pedantic pedantic payable pedantic payable 600 but remember they are there released 200 as cash in transit yeah aka, aka release aka adjust book zake lakini huyu yako adjust book zake sababu hako amepata hiyo pesa hako amepata hiyo pesa kumaanisha pedantic payable inafaa kusoma ngapi in their books pedantic payable in a focus on ngapi in their books oh yeah abracadabra 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 pedantic kumbuka initially the internal owings ilikuwa the same ilikuwa the same lakini pedantic imesha release 200 so wakabaki na 400 so then in their books of account they are saying oh yeah we have a payable to our son of 400 this is a, a fake payable it's a fake payable it's a fake payable so this fake payable where do we deduct this fake payable of 400 from where should i deduct the fake payable of 400 from where should i deduct the 400 fake payable fake payable fake payable the fake payable where should i deduct it from the fake payable the fake payable where should i deduct from current liabilities right so from current liabilities current liabilities ukuje useme hapo minus 400 alafu unajua kama mwanafunzi mwerevu for purpose of balancing you see minus 600 plus 200 somebody what is minus 600 plus 200 what is minus 600 plus 200 what is minus 600 plus 200 it's minus 400 
which matches this, which matches this. For balancing purposes, sasa hapo tuko sawa sawa. So turudi hapa, tusome uh, hii ni nini. Sasa siku moja, mwanafunzi ya kalendia mwalimu, unajua nini? Wewe, ukipatia bibi, a hundred thousand, hiyo ni right off on your side. Lakini nao bibi ya kikupatia a hundred thousand, at hiyo lazimu rudishe. And in most cases, lazimu rudu na interest. Is that really fair for the boy child? At hiyo bibi lazimu rudi. Anakuambia ni achama. At hiyo lazima rudi. Hiyo ina, amekopa kwa cha. <laughs> no, 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 no. All ladies that we have in this case here, ladies and gentlemen, all ladies that we have in this house who happened, uh, happens to have given their husbands any money, please, tonight, go and tell that great husband of yours that money imekua waived. Katasi of mwalimu aura. Tonight. Tonight. Na mwambi ukweli confess hata ikuwa ya chama, yyo pesa nimekua chi? Nimekua chia yo? Yote. Yyo nimekua chia yote. Hata wewe, burudike. Usikuwa na wasuwasi, nita kuomba yu pesa tena. Please, please promise. Please promise. Please promise. 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 <laughs> we, you don't want to give waivers. You don't want to give waivers, you people. Why? Now, come here. We are told here Pedantic has a policy of accounting for any uncontrolling interest at full fair value. Now, ladies and gentlemen, it's a good badai. Sasa, nimebaki na working moja tu, ambayo ni serious. Working moja tu ambayo ni serious, Stella. Working moja tu ambayo ni serious. Na hiu working sasa nandaka uteke masikio. Hata juu ni andike wapi duweza kwa understand vizuri. Hapa ni pazuri. Hii working ni ya maana sana. Hii working ukisha shika hii working kusema ukweli. Kusema ukweli. Kusema ukweli. Kusema ukweli. No, kabla ya working because I would want to create some space. I would want to create some space. Ibu ni pati nizi answers. Ni pati nizi answers. Ni pati nizi answers. Sabu sina ya hali pati nizi answers. So kama PPE ni ngapi. PPE ni ngapi. Ni pati nizi answers kwanza za zote. PPE jakia na sema ni 55,000. PPE jakia na sema ni 55,000. Ah, ya. Current assets. Nani ya kuna figure ya current assets? Nani ya kuna figure ya current assets? Oh, yeah. Current assets 21,200. Current assets 21,200. Nani ya kona figa ya? Ya, nani ya kona figa ya? Nani ya kona figa ya 10% loan notes? 10% loan notes. 10% loan notes. 10% loan notes. 10% loan notes. Mbesha shiga na. 10% loan notes. Current assets in 21,400. Eh? Sorry for that. Current assets in 21,400. Ii loan notes nimesha wana ni 7,000. Loan notes ni Yep, yep. Loan notes in Meshawa ni 7,000. Loan notes in Meshawa ni 7,000. Abracadabra. Abracadabra. Loan notes in Meshawa ni 7,000. How about current liabilities? Is there anybody who has a figure for current liabilities? Is there anybody who has a figure for current liabilities? What is the man 12? 500. Thank you and thank you so much. Thank you and thank you so much. You guys are great. 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 Great. Aya, 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 aya. So you may invest in fifty-five thousand. Ah, you are going to working. Current assets are going to be twenty-one four hundred. Great. You are going to sawa, sawa, sawa. Ingi nwa kanembea ni 7 tao. Sawa. Iwa kanembea ni 12,500. Sawa. So ni kuje sasa hapa. Ni rabi ni create space yangu mzuri. Kitabi yangu ni poa. Great. Great. So ni kisha fanya sasa hii. Ujinga yote. The next thing nita kuja hapa sasa woye. Ni angalie now critically my subsidiary. This subsidiary that I acquired. Was it really worth it? or I wasted my resources. And how do I assess the criticality of my subsidiary is to come and, ladies and gentlemen, look at the net assets 
the net assets of the subsidiary. And they can you. Net assets of the subsidiary. Net assets of the subsidiary, unasema at acquisition and at reporting, ama at date of financial report. At acquisition and at reporting. At acquisition and at reporting. Now, my good students, could you kindly talk to me tonight when somebody speaks of net assets, net assets, what comes to your mind? Net assets, net assets. You as a finance scholar, net assets is the same as who? Net assets is the same as who? Oh, yeah, Niko Pekiangu lakini I will overcome. Niko Pekiangu lakini I will overcome. Niko Pekiangu lakini I will... Thank you very much. Not fair value, Jackie. Use the same as equity. Who is care net assets? Oh, yeah. You know, you know, na equity elements. Equity. Now, equity elements, you can even uh, name them. We have the share capital. Yeah, we have the share premium if it is available. It is not available here. We have uh, what we call retained earnings. Retained earnings, these are uh, shareholders' uh, monies. Retained earnings. Then we have, ladies and gentlemen, we have fair value adjustments. Fair value, fair value, fair value adjustment, fair value adjustment. And then we have uh, what we call the depreciation on fair value adjustment. At acquisition and at the date of financial reporting. Please, abracadabra, abracadabra, abracadabra. Yes. Yes. Abracadabra, to answer now, Share capital at date of financial reporting. Share capital of which company? Subsidiary. Share capital of the subsidiary at the date of financial reports. At the date of financial reports. Nikiangalia hapa. Sindio hii hapa jameni hapa equity shares. Na sisi mina ona hapa subsidiary sophistic. Ilikuwa na equity shares ngapi somebody? Ilikuwa na 4,000. Ilikuwa na 4,000. Thank you so much. Kutoka hapo ye, retained earnings of the subsidiary at reporting. Retained earnings of the subsidiary at reporting in 6,500. Ah, great. At the date of financial reporting in 6,500. 6,500. Abracadabra, fair value adjustment. Is there somebody who can remember the fair value adjustment figure? Fair value adjustment is the same as revaluation. Is the same as revaluation. Is the same as revaluation. Revaluation. You need the same. Na revaluation. Need the same. Na revaluation. Oh, yeah. Imagine from here, I'm able to sense kumba kuna monafuzi ya mechoka. Ana jaribu kushikilia macho angalie vizuri. I'll give you a secret. Ya kukua na energy kama yangu. Kama yangu. Ama takuzidi yangu. Weni mdewa na fuli shinde. You can imagine like some of you about Lianza Nanyini kutoka asubui kabisa, leadership. At, uh, not leadership, Lianza Nanyini asubui kabisa at 5.30 in the morning. 5.30 in the morning. 5.30 in the morning with the AFM. And I've never not taken any break. And here I am, very strong, stronger than you. We're sitting down the whole day now on a la 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 la. Right? Daupatia Siri. Daupatia Siri, don't worry. So fair value adjustment in the same like revaluation, revaluation, and how many have been in gap two year? I think two thousand. depreciation on revaluation. Now you can look depreciation on revaluation. Depreciation on revaluation. You're going to put somebody two hundred. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Like that. Aya. Sasa wana kujia pa ta 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 ta. Ah, ini araka sana. The precision on fair value adjustment is kuangi hapa at acquisition. Fair value adjustment at acquisition in a quite exactly the same. And at reporting. Kwe kwa pali kujaza tu. Ata share capital. Ta-ta, ta-ta. Aha. So najua kitu mbola zima ta compute. Ni retained earnings. Retained earnings at acquisition ilikuwa pesa ngapi. Retained earnings. At acquisition, retained earnings at acquisition. Remember, for us to get retained earnings, retained earnings at reporting, 
at reporting, we normally take retained earnings at acquisition plus profit. Assuming there were no dividends, assuming there were no dividends paid, assuming you retained everything, assuming you retained everything. Whenever you want to get retained earnings at reporting, we normally take retained earnings at acquisition plus the accrued profit. Ah, abracadabra, ukiona hapa, retained earnings at reporting is 6,500. Retained earnings at acquisition is what I earned. This is what I earned. But fortunately, I have the profit after tax your subsidiary. I have the profit after tax your subsidiary. Profit after tax your subsidiary, I have it. The income statement up here. You got the income statement up here. You'll be able to see profit for the year. Is there somebody who is able to see the profit after tax? Profit for the year, yeah? Subsidiary ninga pay. Ninga pay your subsidiary profit for the year. Profit for the year ninga pay. Profit for the year ninga pay. Profit of the subsidiary. Apa shetana skuingiru chukwa profit of the parent. The profit of the subsidiary. The profit of the subsidiary. Profit of the subsidiary. What are some of the 3K, isn't it? Profit of the subsidiary in the 3K. But now there is something that you guys have forgotten. Now this 3,000 is for a whole year. And you stayed with your subsidiary for how many months? You stayed with your subsidiary for how many months? We stayed with our subsidiary for how many months? Six. So now five quid times six over 12. Times six over 12. Times six over 12, which is the same as 15 and oh. And then, ladies and gentlemen, you take this 15 and oh to the other side of the equation. You take this to the other side of the equation, you shall subtract for you to give us retained earnings at acquisition. So retained earnings at acquisition na kuanga pay. Jackie amekuwa mwanafunzi wa kwanza kupata. Jackie nakuambia kama si vile mwezi kwa pabaya. Kwa hiyo sasa nilipata mshahara tarehe 21. Haki na pesa imeisha. Siku hizi pesa yani pesa haina value. Pesa haina value. Pesa haina value. Ya kama ingekuwa sio hivyo, ningekudunga hata hiyo 5000 straight away and pesa hiyo siku hizi mambo ni mbaya. Mambo ni mbaya. Mambo ni mbaya. But we shall overcome, right? We shall overcome. We shall overcome. We shall overcome. So, ladies and gentlemen, there is one thing that you must always check. In your net assets, there is one thing that you must always check. So, I want to introduce this thing. It's quite an important thing. In your net asset, there is always one thing that you must come and check. UPS. UPS. This one you must always check. UPS is normally brought, UPS is normally brought in the net assets of the subsidiary if it is the subsidiary that sold goods the parent. If it's an upward stream, if it's an upward transaction, upward from the subsidiary to the parent, if it is a sophistic the subsidiary that made the sale, then UPS must be brought under net assets of the subsidiary because the net assets of the subsidiary have been overstated, have been overstated. So let's go back to the question we see, who sold to the other, who sold to the other? What are we told, ladies and gentlemen? Look at this, sales from sophistic to pedantic. Sophistic is the subsidiary. It is the one that made the big jump and the sold to the parent. So it's an upward transaction. If it's an upward transaction, then the UPS has to be brought in the subsidiary. Otherwise, we don't bring the UPS in the net assets of the subsidiary. So now who can remind us? What was the value of the UPS? What was the value of the UPS when you calculated this? What is the value of the UPS? 800. Lucy has been able to remember 800. Lucy has remembered 800. Is there any other person who can remember the unrealized profit on stock? Anybody else who can remember the unrealized profit on stock? 800. Thank you very much, Rosie. Thank you very much, Steve. So this UPS, it means at the date of uh, financial reporting, the inventory of the subsidiary is overstated. Is overstated. So I'll come, ladies and gentlemen, here yeah, and mention what they are. 800, like that, I subtract. So and that is it. Could you kindly give me the total net assets now? 
give me the total. Let us you normally call it the total now. The total now. The total net assets at acquisition now geza yote and at the date of financial reporting from the party figure. Please give me the figures there. Please give me the figures there. Love no party siri. Very hard working. Size two. Because I want my students here to really excel. To excel, do better even than the teacher. Kiswali kina sema kina chosaliwa. Nikizuri kushinda mama. Anyway, kama mama, ukipata mtoto wako ni mjinga kukushinda, you should really be worried. Be very worried. Otherwise, mtoto wako anafaa kuwa mwerevu zana kushinda, ata kiwa two year old, ukiona vile yumba naimba ya kizungu, unajua you at your time, hau yeweza kuimba yumba kama hiyo. Ata vile na dance, unajua sasa huyu ni mwerevu sana. Urajuni mwerewe sana. Susan, I'll be able to repeat. I'll be able to repeat. I will be able to repeat. I will be able to repeat. Aha. So, Jackie, I'm in Yambia. In 11,000. How about at the date of financial reporting? 11,500. And then now, Susan wants me to repeat the concept of retained earnings at the end. You see, retain the earnings at the end. Retain the earnings here at the end, at end, equals who? Retain the earnings at the beginning, where we, we started from, plus any profit after tax. At times, as we shall be seeing, you'll be told that there were dividends which were paid. If dividends are paid, they must be subtracted. But for now, we're saying retain the earnings at the end, which were how much? At the end, there were 6,000, the date of financial reporting, there were 6,500, yeah. At the beginning, had to do in X plus profit after tax for the whole year of the subsidiary was 3,000. But you see, this is for the whole year. And yet we still there with our subsidiary for how many months? Six over 12. So then this gives us what year, somebody? 1,500. So if you take this to the other side, it will be 6,500, which will give us 5,000, like that. I hope, Susan, that helps somehow. Great. Now, to normalize this wali, in the next 10 minutes, since you want to talk to Mesha, talk to him kutano. In the next 10 minutes, talk to me, talk to him kutano. Susan, is that okay a little bit? Is that okay a little bit, Susan? Susan, I'm not getting a response from you and I can't proceed. Great. Thank you so much. Great. Now, ladies and gentlemen, I would want you, bright students uh, of God, or of us, uh, bright. I would want you guys to tell me what good name do we give to the difference between this and this? It is a special name we normally give this and this. Special name. Special name. That difference. It's called a PAP. It's called post acquisition profit. Post acquisition profit. So this is called a post acquisition profit. So then this post acquisition profit, which is popularly abbreviated as PAP, will be 11,500 minus 11,000, which will end up giving us how much? Which will end up giving us how much pop? Pop will be equal to how much pop? 500, thank you so much. So the pop will be 500. It's called the post acquisition what? Profit. Anytime you have some post acquisition profit, remember what we always agree, Anytime you have any post acquisition profit, it must be shared between the two owners. Please share these out. Go ahead and share it out to the two owners. So share the pop, share the pop. So go ahead and share the pop. Go ahead and share the pop. So we are sharing the pop. So share of pop, share of pop, share of pop. So we have in this case here, the parent company. The parent is 60%. The parent is 60%. So 60% of 500 gives us what year somebody. Remember it's share of pop, which is dollars 500. So 60% of 500 gives me 300. Thank you so much. And then we have NCI. If you are able to remember the percentages, NCI is 40%. So 40% over 500 gives me how much? 200. 
So what do you do? Come to your balance sheet where you are seeing NCI, give them their share, say a plus 200. Where you are seeing a parent, of course, parent is the group share. Where you are seeing in this case, that 300, bring it to retain the earnings of the group. Because PAP affects retain the earnings of the group. So here plus 300, plus 300, like that. So please confirm to me whether you have taken those PAP shares to their respective accounts nicely, nicely. Please confirm, please confirm after you got this. So you're saying that the parent take this to the group retained earnings. Take this to the group retained earnings like that. Thank you very much, Agi. Thank you very much, Agi. Kuna Richard Jamskia, Kuna Purity Kiaris Jamskia, Abracadabra, Abracadabra. So you share like that. So after that, the last working that I need, ladies and gentlemen, now is the working of you know, he, yeah, goodwill. So now come and do the working of what here? Yeah, goodwill. Come and do the working of goodwill. So how do we get goodwill? How do we get goodwill is very easy to calculate. To get goodwill, we normally take the parents' consideration the parents' consideration. Ta, 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 ta. We come and add the NCI's consideration. Ta, 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 ta. We we'll part of the total consideration. Total consideration. Total consideration. Laugh on the less net assets at acquisition. The figure that you had of 11,000. Net assets at acquisition. Net assets at acquisition, upper. And then now whatever you shall get here will be called what here? Goodwill, goodwill, goodwill at acquisition, right? The figure you shall get here. Ah, yeah, abracadabra. What another can see here? Net assets at acquisition, I can remember 11,000. Net assets at acquisition. Are we able to remember these net assets? Are able to return BD at acquisition net assets? Are you able to remember the 11,000 at acquisition? Oh, it means I could chalk us as a Thank you so much, yes. How about NCI consideration? NCI consideration is NCI at acquisition. Is there somebody who can give me the NCI at acquisition? NCI at acquisition from this particular note. NCI at acquisition. NCI at acquisition from this particular note. NCI at acquisition from this particular note. NCI at this one here. NC, the fair value of NCI is 5,000 at acquisition, remember, 5,900. Great, 5,900, great. So here NCI consideration is 5,900. So I'm only looking for one parameter which is the parent's consideration in Mazane Omaneno. Parent alipeana pesangapi for the 60% shares. Parent alipeana pesangapi for the 60% shares. No worries. Look at this. No worries. Look at this. Tunambi wa hapa juku na parent's consideration. Wana peananga pesa. Sazino na peana. Share zao. Share zao. Tunambi wa on 1st April 2018. Pedantic acquired 60% of the equity share capital of Sophistic in a share exchange of two shares in Pedantic for three shares in Sophistic. Great. So I would want you guys to tell me the number of shares that Sophistic has. The number of shares that Sophistic has. I would want you guys to tell me the number of shares that Sophistic has. Please go to the balance sheet of sophistic, go to the balance sheet of sophistic, and then you tell us the number of shares that sophistic has. The number of shares that sophistic has. The number of shares, I can see these very first. To get number of shares, we normally take the share capital divided by power value. Ah, they are telling us something very nice. To get what we popularly call the nodes, we normally take the share capital 
their share capital divided by the power value, divided by the power value. No stands for a number of ordinary shares. No stands for a number of ordinary shares. So you can see the share capital of this company is 4,000 of the subsidiary member, of the subsidiary member, it's 4,000. The share capital of the subsidiary here, the share capital of the subsidiary here, the share capital of the subsidiary, you are able to see it, it's 4,000. And the power value has been given here as dollar one, dollar one. So in this case here, divided by one, divided by one. So the number of ordinary shares of this particular subsidiary is 4,000. 4,000 shares is 4,000 shares is 4,000 shares. And out of this, the parent acquired how many shares? Out of this, the parent acquired how many shares? The parent acquired how many shares? They have given us the percentage. They have told us that the parent acquired 60%. So right there for me, shares acquired by the parent. Shares of Sophistic acquired by the parent, right there in full. Shares, right there in full. Shares of Sophistic acquired by the parent. So in this case here, we acquired 60% of 4,000, which gives me 2,400 shares. So Sophistic gave out how many shares? 2,400 shares to the parent. Ah, I love this. Look at the share exchange. Look at the share exchange. The share exchange, I would want to know because the parent gave out shares instead of money. I would want to know the parent now gave how many shares in return. This is quite critical for me. Look at this, look at this, look at this, ladies and gentlemen. What they've told us here, which is quite interesting, they've told us here, they've told us here, they've told us here, they've told us here, on 1st April 08, Pedantic acquired 60% of the equity share capital or Sophistic in a share exchange of two shares in Pedantic for three shares in Sophistic. I love this. Two shares, of pedantic equals three shares of sophistic. Let's repeat this again. Two shares of pedantic, two shares of pedantic, two shares of pedantic equals three shares of sophistic. And we are aware that we bought 2,400 shares of sophistic. 2,400 shares of sophistic then will be equivalent to how many shares of the parent company. So, uki cross multiply it, two times 2400 divided by three. EV divided by three. Which somebody is telling me that the parent gave out 1600 shares. So, please write for me there in a sentence that the parent gave out 1600 shares. The parent gave out. 1600 shares. The parent gave out 1600 shares. So this is their consideration. The consideration of the parent was what year? 1600 shares for a 60% stake. Now listen, listen, now here we are. We are calculating goodwill. We are calculating goodwill. Now we are calculating goodwill. We are calculating goodwill. Where goodwill, we are looking at the consideration that was paid by the parent, consideration paid by the parent company, who may send 1,600, and fortunately they'll give you the market price of the shares. You must know the parent's value of share. They have told us, they have told us in the question, they've told us in the question, they've told us in the question that at the date of acquisition shares in Pedantic had a market value of $6 each, so times six. Each share here is times six, or rather each share is six bucks or times six to get the total. Who can give me this figure? The consideration that was paid by the parent. Jackie tells me 9,600. Jackie tells me 9,600. Jackie tells me 9,600. Is there anybody else who is able to see that 9,600? Rosie has confirmed that. Any gentleman who is able to see that figure of 9,600? Thank you very much. Now come and add the consideration or NCI's consideration, NCI at acquisition. 
of which you guys gave me 5,900. Could you kindly add here for you to give me the total consideration? Kindly add for you to give me the total consideration. What figure are we getting there, somebody? So 15,500. 15,500. So come on, the less net assets at acquisition. Less net assets at acquisition, which you guys gave me some figure. Less net assets at acquisition, which you guys gave me some figure. Are you able to remember the figure that you gave uh, to me? It is 11,000. So when you subtract like this, you are able to get what we call goodwill, goodwill, goodwill at acquisition. So goodwill at acquisition, what figure do we have? Goodwill at acquisition, what figure do we have here? It's 4,000. 500. So come here and subtract impairment. Loss in value of goodwill is called impairment. If you remember impairment, there was zero impairment. So this means that goodwill at reporting is 4,500. Goodwill at reporting. They told us somewhere down here. They told us somewhere down here that goodwill, goodwill was not impaired as an asset Goodwill was not impaired at all. Yes, they told us that. But unless I'm dreaming, they told us that. They told us precisely that. That the fair value of NCI like that consolidated goodwill was not impaired as of the date. No impairment laws. No impairment laws. So 4,500 is what I expect you guys to bring here. Goodwill 4,500. Goodwill 4,500. So first of all, up to there, I'm so sure I must have lost most of you. That one I know. But at least have you been able to write something up to where we have reached? Please, please give me responses there. Have we been able to write something up to where we have reached? All right, all right. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Great. So then what I'll do, I'll come straight away here and rub this. Now, there is something that has just come to my attention that will be very important. This is the last, last thing. It will take me less than a minute to finish. So remember, you've told me that the parent gave what? The parent issued 1,600 new shares. At what price? At $1.06 per what? Per share. But now remember that this $1.06 A dollar six, ladies and gentlemen, dollar six, dollar six has got two components. The components of this dollar six, is there somebody who can see what the power value is? Is there anybody who is able to see what the power value is? Anybody who can remember from our balance sheet what the power value is? Anybody who can remember from the balance sheet what the power value is? It's one. So the power value is one. The power value is one from the balance sheet. They told us from the balance sheet from the balance sheet, from the balance sheet, from the balance sheet, from the balance sheet here, the power is one. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And thank you so much. So the power value is one. So then what name do I give to this five for me to get six? Amount issued over and above the power value. Amount issued over and above the power value should be given which name? Share premium, thank you very much. So share premium, share premium, share premium is five. So then do me a favor, please come and give me totals here. I know the power value is one. So for 1600 shares, it will be 1600. Five premium per share times 1600, it will be what, yes, somebody, is it 8,000? Yes for us to get 9,600, this figure. This figure, thank you very much. So remember that these shares that were issued belonged to who? Belonged to the parent. These 1,600 were a new issue of shares of the parent company. So it means that our equities must be affected. So please come to the share cap of the parent only, Yongeze 1,600 Apa. Itakuja. 9,600. nine. No, no, 11,600. Because in the apparent, we said in the group, 
in the group kidogo kidogo relax in the group oh mwalimu read note 5 last statement or do i have a wrong question do i have a wrong question i believe so i believe you have a wrong question check the question that we have here check the question that we have here akuna another note throw the one that i given you in the last class throw that one it was quite simplified how to get the original one original one so this is the question you're supposed to be having ladies and gentlemen this one does not have any impairment great thank you so much ah yeah so sasa ya mwisho kabisa kuja squeeze 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 share premium hapa ndani squeeze andika share premium hapa ndani squeeze share premium Wandike share premium ni ngapi somebody uh, share premium ni 8000 8000 share premium ni 8000 and now that is the end of that question so then i would want you guys to kindly give me the total assets of the company give me the total assets of the company please add for me my figures are not so nice add for me and give me the total assets of the company is there somebody who can do that total assets of the company is there somebody who can do that somebody who has a, there has in one line nicely what are we getting to be the total assets of the company please remember to include goodwill remember to include goodwill aha uh -huh. melalisa she's giving us 8900 any other person who is able to confirm this thank you so much how about total equity and liabilities can somebody add this entire things all of them total liabilities total equity and liabilities somebody add all of them from the share capital you add all of them and then we get to see whether we are getting the same 8900 whether we are getting the same 8900 whether we are getting the same 8900 can somebody confirm that total equity and liabilities jackie is giving us total equity and liabilities she has organized her work very well she's giving us the total equity and liabilities as 8900 total equity and liabilities 8900 who are these students who don't want to clap to their teacher and yet the balance sheet has really balanced or don't you guys know where claps are in zoom or must i request you to clap for me <laughs> we shall <laughs> we shall overcome so 8900 like that 8900 and then we thank you very much thank you very much i never knew they would come flowing that way thank you very much thank you very much thank you very much thank you very much now ladies and gentlemen i would want you guys to do me one favor i would want you guys to do me one favor You see how I have done that question. I would want you to go and put a solution here and then you start doing the question again slowly as you make reference to the solution as you make reference to the solution so that uh, when we meet in our tomorrow's early morning class remember tomorrow I'm meeting you at 5:30 in the morning I would want us to be using this format throughout in all our group consolidation questions in all our group consolidation questions thanks agi great i'm the best thank you great ladies and gentlemen please tomorrow we are meeting at 5:30 am i would want you to use like 30 minutes today to simply analyze this balance sheet the way mwalimu has done it this format otherwise thank you very much please be blessed be blessed be blessed be blessed now i can take this opportunity to read a few questions as you guys share the question i've already shared the question i've already shared the question i've already shared the question with you kuna maswali kwa muulizo huko juu let me strive no it is not a free class that class you have to pay now pay you pay 3500 shillings you pay 3500 shillings ladies and gentlemen the moment you pay the 55 3500 you get access to our normal class thank you so much you get access to our normal class there are questions that i needed to answer here 
please, this is a good resource. Don't let this good resource achoke sana bila kulipwa, please. And I'm the only teacher who does this for you many times, but also try to motivate Mwalimu. Please, please pay. Please, please pay. So I haven't seen uh, any questions there. How many lessons do we have? Four lessons in a week. 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 I and to kuliza maswali. And the kuliza maswali is out and ajibu sahizi. Kabla utoke. Kabla utoke angalini maswali. Angalini maswali kabla kuenda. Okay, so I'm going through your questions. Remember, this is a, a great semester. It is a do or die semester. This is a great semester. This is a great semester. So it's a do or die semester. We must, ladies and gentlemen, just do it. We don't have a choice. We must pass. We must pass. That is where we have how many sessions in a week? Four sessions a week. Mr. Nobat is teaching you guys how many sessions? Three. And I'm only teaching you one session. My role in your class, the ones who are in the normal class, is to teach you group consolidation and group cash flows only. Mr. Nobat will be able to teach you all the other things. For the students who are in the special revision classes, I'll be teaching you myself thrice a week in the SPR uh, class, right? All in all, all of us in this case here must do what here must pass. Revision kit, how much? 1,000 bob only, 1,000 bob only. 1,000 bob only. How do I pay to the, the three, five? Ah, great, now I'm getting somebody who wants to promote more. This is the best student, only best student, only best student. Mary, I mean, you have to copy your move to the left, move so ah uh, this side. So it means Indian Abuta. Indian Abuta is Mary. So the one who wants to pay us immediately, this is our pay bill number. This is our pay bill number, very easy. 4029-569. And then we have account is your name. Is your name. And then of course, once you pay, you send the payment message to 5 0719 525 0719. 525,000, 0719, 525,000. The 1500 Lucy is the book. You know, we have uh, the book and the revision kit. The revision kit is a thousand, is a thousand, is a thousand. Any other question? 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 No, zimekuwa mingi. Sasa revision kit zimekuwa mingi. Zimeingia kwa market sasa. Zilichelewesha kidogo na sasa zimeingia kwa market. Ebu uliza tena. Hizo maswali ni mingi. Uliza tena Marieta. Kesho class ni 5.30 a.m. 5.30 a.m. Kesho class. Ukisha lipa. Class ungojia uh, link kwa paid group. Ni 5.30 a.m. 5.30 a.m. Great. I love to enjoy my approach to group consolidation. Apana Emily, atu kwanza leo tulianza. Class yenu lianza kufunza group consolidation mapema, Emily. Leza mapema kidogo. You are to share about the new and the old syllabus. New and old syllabus. Now the old syllabus is coming to an end this August. The new students, or not new, but those old, old syllabus students have only one bullet, which will be ending on this August. Uh, uh, sitting. If you fail, God forbid, if you fail, it will take you two years to finish your CPA. If you fail, if you fail, it will take you two years for special revision class. Apana, I will change the timetable. 
Ebu angalia vizuri marieta, angalia vizuri temtable yako. Angalia vizuri temtable yako, abuja change. Abuja change. Pay bill. Pay bill is 402-9569. And then our uh, account number is your name. Phone number is 0719-525,000. Today I'll be a rich man. Today I'll be a rich man, but I also do a lot of work. I also do a lot of work. Susan, America AFM, question mark. Minafunza zote. Minafunza zote. Minafunza zote. Jackie, anauliza why two years. Two per timetable ya SPR. Ya special revision class. Iyo sasa ndawatumia kwa, ndawatumia kwa WhatsApp. Ndawatumia kwa WhatsApp. Lakini remember Mary, SPR na fakwa wanafunzi ambao walifanya, eh, wakarudia. I call them the repeaters, but in good faith. Usha cover syllabus before. Usha cover syllabus before you join SPR. Join SPR. Uh, you had promised to do so. How are you going to assist me? Then because I have uh, both AFR and AMA at the same time. How, you, how comes? Marietta, I'm the same person who is teaching AFR kwa special na AMA. Uh, there is no way I can be teaching AMA and I teach AFR at the same time. How is it can you work on a wrong timetable? Work on a wrong timetable. Work on a wrong timetable. Susan Auliza AFM, yeah, 8 to 10, cash or yes, yo iko bado. Iko bado. Yo iko bado. Why two years? You know, there is quite a lot of uh, issues outside here regarding this uh, new syllabus. Quite sad for you. I never wanted to tell you this, but now that you are insisting, I have to tell you. So assuming, for example, God forbid, you fail AFR in this August. So it means you will have to go to December sitting. So December, first of all, you do that AFR, one paper you pass. After passing, we only allow you to do the data analytics project after passing. It means you will go to 2023, uh, uh, April, for the data analytics project. After passing the data analytics project, we would want to ensure that you guys at the workplace are doing accounting roles. would want you to go into internship. So internship should be over how many months? It's a term, three months. So it means so that uh, all the way to August, 2023 August, you'll be doing internship. Even if you're working, would want to come and inspect you at the workplace. So we'll need those three months to come round, 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 round. And then we give you a pass for internship, depending on the skills that you have acquired, right? So after you pass like that, then we go to 2023, 2023 December, 2023 December, you'll have to sit this sitting, you sit for the seminars. ISPAC seminars, there are two of them. 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 So these two, two, two seminars with ISPAC, you'll do. So ukiesabu kutoka leo, ebu esabu vizuri. Na wasium utaizanguka kitu moja apa katikati. Sabu kasi na vizuri straight line. Are you able to see, ladies and gentlemen? Are you able to see, ladies and gentlemen, that straight away yeah, there is a possibility that uh, you could easily stay. If I were you, I would really work so hard. I would work so 